Right. Yeah, I know I'm playing Daisy. I know you guys in YouTube watching this, you're gonna be like, why is MK Leo, Mac Leo playing? I'm not thinking that. No one's thinking that. Yeah, no one's they're gonna that. think. No that. one's thinking that. Hi guys, it's me and Mitsu King, and this is our character guide. We're gonna be releasing a several character guides uh, for the Echo Fox YouTube, so make sure you subscribe or else your crush won't text you back. Anyway, our first character is Peach, and she's from... Prince Peach game. The Super Princess Peach yep. game, yeah. Okay, let's talk about the character. What do you think about character. Peach? Okay, Peach is one of those characters that has good HR game. I mean, so-so. No, very good. She just throw a turn, I mean, and they die. Yeah, but like, like so-so. You no, to, no, it's you good. It's super good. No. It doesn't matter. No, just throw a turn. Okay, okay let's go, like, everyone. Let's just throw about, a turn. Let's talk about her emotions. You know when you feel better, you do better at the game, right? So like if you feel sad, you're gonna do bad at the game. If I feel better, if I feel happy, that, that is true. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm this gonna do true. better at the tournament. So Peach, it used to not be that good in the last game in Smash 4, but she's probably the best character in the game in this game. That she was pretty good in Smash 4. She was like, but she's way, top, way, way more top broken now. or something. So that means Peach feels happy in this game, right? <laughs> so I hate you. We're gonna show you guys all her combos, her Edgar game, and everything we know about Peach. We won't do anything because, like, we don't know how to play Peach. Let's do it. <laughs> We're gonna try our best. Hi guys, and um, Peach basically is a combo-based character. She's really good at a lot of stuff, but some of the best things she has is combos. So I'm gonna go over some of the basic stuff. First off, one of the ba basic stuff that works for a really I mean, long you, time. You're playing Daisy right now. You need to be playing Peach. You said Peach. Daisy is different. Than Peach. They're the same. No, they are not the same. Yeah, the, the, the turnips are different. Pe Peach's turnips start weaker no, and like, get stronger. Daisy Great. Ah, Daisy Daisy down looks, throw bear. No. All you have to do is down throw bear. I didn't air that time. Look, just let me grab you. Let me grab you. Jason, no. you, you need no, to be playing I'm Peach. Pa You're playing Daisy. It's a different character. Anyway, Peach's down throw is the main reason her combos are so good. A lot of this combos she has, besides down throw bear, which let me show you again. I'll, okay. You just do down throw and a bear. And no matter how they DI, from like I one to like to almost 100, it varies a lot on the character. Obviously, bigger bodies, it works longer. You just down throw a bear a really long time. You get like 22 damage. So that worked. That's just crazy that you get such a big reward off that. But a lot of her main combos, she wants to hit you at a low percentage. And then she can start combos out of shield with either turn up, nair, like t turn up, down tilt. Most things come from the down tilt. This move is the main reason she's so crazy. This move, um, it pretty much combos into other things. So you could do things like, uh, oh, it's from zero. Uh, die, 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 peach, die, die, die. 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 Not I need to do this combo that I practiced for like two minutes in my life, just, and uh, that I might mess up. Uh, so you just do like nair, down tilt, oh, nair, nair, and then you do dash attack or something. I, I didn't quite do it very good, but basically, if you, for basic level, you can get around 50 damage from just you start with nair or you start with down tilt, and then you just keep doing it a few times, and then you, and can, then you, you can finish with a dash attack. Uh, that's the, the basic combo. You just have to learn how to do uh, this stuff. It works a little longer in a big body, but those are basically some things you should practice. Use down tilt and there over and over. You can also shield with a turnip in your hand, uh, and if you if you know your opponent's at zero, you just can't have turnips, like you can't have turnips, and then, oh, they hit your shield, and then you do this, and then you can start the, the nair down tilt combos. I'm not an expert on all this stuff, but that's like the basic idea you should get used to practicing. And that's how you do some of your major combos. There's actually very, uh, much larger combos you can do, which involve turnips, but I have never learned them. But yeah, that's some of the basics of why Peach is so good at uh, top level play. And as you can see, even someone like me who just practiced it for two minutes, I can already do it that decently after two minutes. So if you put a lot of time into it, you can get a lot better with it. Okay, the neutral game, I don't know anything about Peach, to be honest. I know how to beat Peach. I just don't know how to play Peach correctly. But I know Peach likes to just run away, dan dancing away. It's like, she can't just approach to you. She's like, she's a character that needs to get combos to win, but like, it's not like she's just gonna go find you, cause like, he's really bad. Some characters just yo Peach on the Lian, just kill Peach, and like, <coughs> Thorman characters are just gonna destroy Peach. So Peach basically just need to have a turnip in his hand, in her hands, and then just wait for the opportunity to just hit you with a combo. Like, if you've seen any any Peach players, they are just waiting. They're they they play super campy. To be honest, I hate him, cause like, they are just running away. It's just so boring and annoying. It's kind of average. Be, it's, it's just like whatever. It's weak compared to the other stuff she's good at, but it's still probably it's average or above good. average yeah. for a character. And that's crazy considering that's her worst trait. Is it because I, of the turnip? 
Yeah. I think it's the turn up, and you can do float backers. He wasn't talking about this, but the float bears, there's ways you can do it where you can, like. Yeah, I was going to say. The, that. the bears, it has a lot of range. Like, look how much. Slow down into to fairy actually. First oh, yeah. Ring. The like, backers. What? 40%? And, and this, you get a big reward off this. And you this is also good at the ledge. And this is good at the ledge, because if you get this, you can do like this into forward air, and you can kill people from like 60% of the ledge. If you can catch them from like a ledge jump, you do this, and then you'd go out with a fair. And on, if it has a small blast zone, and they're at a certain percent range, you could actually get quick kills. There's just some pretty good ledge trapping as well. And uh, this side B move, this, try, try to punish me. Shield this move, and you could just go away. And then look, do it, shield it again, and now I could go to the right if I wanted to. You have no, Marf can't even get a shield hot fair out of it. It's, you can literally just mix up your left right drift afterwards. This move is insanely safe. You can do it from like here, or you can do it from the ledge. And uh, that move's just safe no matter what. So this move, uh, they probably need to patch it out, but if they don't patch it out, you should just keep abusing it because it's completely broken. Just keep side being, and then you, do, you can just win. Just hope it hits their shield or hits them. Bam, bam, and you're just broken. Bam, bam. Spam this if you have stage control. Spam this even if you don't have stage control. Turn up all the time. Turn up if you're far away, sh shield and throw a turn up and do a big combo. No matter what your turn up's god, no matter what your side B's god. Ever get a grab? Congratulations. Down throw a bear and you got 22 damage. If they're above you, you just up air and then float cancel. And then even if they air dodge, you can just grab them again anyway. So you just up air. And pretty much every move is amazing. Yep. Nair's probably one of our weaker moves, but it's so good for comboing that it's not really weak. It has a specific purpose. So Peach's weakness is that she lacks range. Um, she also lacks in a good recovery. To be honest, in no. my opinion, in my opinion, Amazing Jason, recovery. in my opinion, no. I I always play a, every pitch in tournaments. You never play the pinch tournament. I mean you you fall Sansora, you lost. I always beat Sansora because I know how to Because you're, you're better than everyone at the game. No. That doesn't mean a recovery is bad. No. You could just you try use that to justify any argument. Dude, we, I beat X. Dude, so we I'm, use the same characters. You use Wolf Lucina. So if I played you, in, so if I play you in melee and I beat all your characters with Roy, I can say Roy is top tier, even though he's obviously not. Just because I'm better. No, no, you can't use that logic. No, okay, recovery is good. No, shut up. You can't we, do that. <laughs> I'm I'm saying my opinion. My opinion, she doesn't have like a very good recovery. You can just go off stage and kill her. Like even when she's recovering, if she sides beat and she misses the ledge. She's just gonna, she's gonna die. That, ha that happens to some sort of a lot of times every time I play him. And like his obby is just like, either do a early obby or like late obby, you're still gonna get punished. So like, you can get countered, you can get edge guard really hard. In my opinion, she's bad recovery. My opinion is that she has a good recovery and I think Peaches just need to wait and camp and wait and wait and wait and then just pick a random time to recover. What if we just recover. wait and camp? Not every character has a counter that can just hit people. Some characters just like, oh, I have to I let Peach get the ledge. Right. What I think the best consistent way to fight her is you get her in disadvantage. Oh, one of the things to mention real quick while it's on top of my head. Uh, a lot of things, if they don't true combo, what she does is she double jump floats out and then she can punish you. So let's say Lucina tries to do fair fair. If it doesn't true combo, she can actually double jump float and then punish you if you try to overextend. So that's something to be aware of. Don't do many combos on her if they aren't actually a true hit stun combo because she can just double jump out and then f float cancel and then either punish you or gain stage control back against you. Well, with that in mind, I think one of her weaknesses is getting off the ledge. One of the ba best stuff she can do if she knows you're shielding here is just do this. I think she's really good at that because I like, try to shield this. If you shield this, I can mix up my drift. See how far away I went? But I could also go, go above here. And if they don't guess correctly, it's really hard. You, none of it's a true hit stun. It's truly a mix up the moment you hit their shield. And that's assuming you don't hit, get them. So that's something to watch out for. Peaches are gonna do the, the ledge hop side B, but other than that, she has below average ability to get off the ledge. Um, most characters can't really edge guard her unless you have a counter. If you can counter it, that'd be good too. But uh, that is one of her weaknesses, and another weakness is her range in neutral is not the greatest. And she relies a lot on getting the low percent combos. But she's overall, no, those are really her only. really hard to get to the stage, I guess. Like, when she's in the air, it's like super hard to land, actually. Like, it doesn't matter if your character has sword or not, it's just really hard to get back to the stage when you're in the air. You just, you just get jolted to the end. You just die. Yeah, but the important thing, uh, if you're fighting against Peach, uh, you don't want to try to overextend, because if, if you try to go for an aggressive up air, she can just, as I said, double jump and then float at any time, and then she either can punish you, or she can use it to gain a, a positional advantage over you, so instead of you having a position. You can't really overextend and take a risk, because she can just stall you out. Basically, it's a game of who's more patient. If you're, if 
you're impatient, then she could take advantage of that. So the best way is to be patient back and focus on the stage control and keep her at disadvantage because if you try to play outside that, it won't be a consistent play style. As far as turnips go, um, it's been recently discovered that Peach's turnips are weaker at 0% but are stronger at extremely high percent. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. One of the big differences about Peach and Daisy is that every time Peach uh, outfield, off smash, or backer, she gives you a heart. And Peach gives you a flower. So that's no. a big difference, actually. No. Because like, it has a different hitbox and a different range. No, you know? Daisy gives no, you a flower. Yeah, it gives you the flower. You Peach said it backwards. Oh, Peach really? gives you a heart. Daisy oh, okay. gives you a flower. Okay, my bad, my bad. All right, we, we need, now we need to see which one is better. How is it? Uh, Okay, flowers so, or hearts. So let's so, find out which one's better. So Peach gives you no, a heart. No, let's find out what's better. Let's find out what's better. I think Wait, a heart's better. I think like, flowers are better. Let's find out. Because like, right imagine now. you're dating someone. Like, if, imagine if you have a girlfriend, right? And she gives you a flower. You're gonna be like, okay, that's fine. Like, she, oh, what if she gives me a human heart? I would like that a lot more, actually. Yeah, that's better. So we're gonna rank Peach's attributes now. The first one is combos, and I would actually say that's S tier. Why? Because Peach is one of a few characters, if you've seen the training mode combos, which are, a lot of them, they're difficult to do. I haven't seen them in tournament yet, but at low level, I should say you can get easy zero to 50s uh, from basic down to air type of combos. In tournaments, I consistently see uh, Peaches from low level to high level to these zero to 50 combos. So that's basically the minimum you can expect for tournament level Peaches. And in theoretical potential, she can actually kill combo you. There's a bunch of combos you can do. They involve yeah. complex turnip things, but the fact that you can even kill somebody or, and in other situations, almost kill them, that's pretty crazy. So I'd say she's among the best characters in the game when it comes to combo. Yeah, same as me, I think it's an S2. Like, I will never forget the time I was fighting uh, the Peach player, and I just, I was just trying to nair. I mean, I play Ike, then I just got a down to and I died, and I lost the match. And I was like, okay, this is like, there's nothing I could do, so uh, we, we take that, I guess. I think the, the edge guarding, like, I don't know about edge guarding, but I know ledge trapping is actually really good. I'm just gonna count like edge guards, same as ledge trapping. I think they're very different. I mean, they are very different, but like. I think they're we, two different categories, personally. I mean, so we should add an edge. A ledge I think ledge trap is very, very separate, in my opinion. I mean, uh, yeah, but like, we're just doing edge guarding. If you wanna put them together, you can. Together, like if you can do it together, but I feel like they're two separate things. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know. But like, we're gonna do it together, right? Okay, sure. So I think, I think like an A. She doesn't have like a super edge guard. She can just counter you, depends on who, on who you are. I, Chrome, are like character that like super easily with the counter. She can just counter Lucina and like every other character with a hitbox recovery. And like, ledge trapping is like really good. You can just do like side B every time they normal get up, they jump get up. Just be floating the ledge jump fair, whatever, just react to it, down or into fair, it kills you at like 50%. Like, she literally can do everything. She's like really bad at getting back to the stage. Like, <coughs> she's really good at not letting you get back to the stage. I personally think her edge guarding is really good, and here's why. It's mainly because of turnips and toad. So, uh, if, if, even if you try to go low, most characters are like, okay, he went low, I have to respect the low recovery. Peach can ignore this in a lot of ways by, let's say you're fighting a Krom and you want to use toad. If Krom doesn't do a completely perfect, up B to the ledge, he's slightly, slightly off, he get, he dies instantly from the Toad. Toad can edge guard a lot of characters. In some certain situations, you can even edge guard like Lucina's up B of Toad, depending on the exact specifics of the situation, which is something that other characters can't do. And another way you can edge guard a lot of characters, for example, I'll take Peach versus Lucina again, is you can use Turnips. Turnips ha are decent base knockback, especially if you're a Daisy from low percent, so you can gimp people, but even, um, even then, as I mentioned before, you just throw it out, intercept areas. If you miss, it's no big deal. And since you have a, you have as much range, threat range, as you do the, all the different angles you could throw it. So between turnips and her toad, I would say she has quite good discarding. I think her neutral is just average, which relative to her other traits is obviously much worse. But considering that that's among her worst traits, that I think that's fine. And I think putting it bees could potentially be lowballing it. And the reason I say this is because the fact that she can keep pulling turnips, her bad turnips do like 12%, which is actually a crazy amount. That's, and that, and that, that happens I think like 90, 91% of the time or something. And the other 9% you get turnips which are even like stronger than that. And if you were to camp her all game and she was to camp you back, she's eventually gonna get one of these amazing turnips like one, 
like one tenth of the time, for example. And then or when like she has bomb. that, yeah, or bomb or any of the dot eye turnips or Mr. Yeah. Saturn, there's a lot of turnips she has which are even better. And if you don't approach her ever, she can keep farming these better ones. So she never, she never has the incentive to approach her. She doesn't have, she doesn't have to as much. So she can keep playing, protect herself the game. And you have to take risks, and that means that increases her neutral. Kill power. Peach, a strong character. She, I mean, I've done like 80% from a fair, down her into fair. That's that's a combo, but like also a super kill power. I would say it's actually, I don't think it's an S. I think only few characters have an S and kill power. But I think it's A. I Where think it's A minus. Because like, that doesn't exist, Jason. Just do A or A+. Fine. Plus. All right, I think it's A. Okay, let's do A. <laughs> Cause like she has very strong hits. Every dash smash tag is just gonna kill you at like 100, 120. It's actually super hard to get though. Even dash attack can Even kill. Dash at fair, at I fair mean, but like if you DI dash attack currently, it's not gonna kill you. It kills at like 130 a lot of times. No, it's not. It kills you at like 180, something like that. If no. You DI, if you DI well. No. Yeah, if you DI no. well. No. Yes. If she has center stage, you can't. And also it's like super hard because like Peach knows no, just it's, gonna it's not dash, 180. It's like no. really dangerous. So it's, she's not gonna do it. So you just need to keep shielding, and it's, nothing's gonna happen to you. So every smash attack, fair, and like back are like the best tools for, for kill power. I Grounded push. movement is not that good in my opinion. Like she's really slow. She's dash dance actually really slow, but like her float movement is actually pretty strong. Like yeah. she can just go forward or back. But it's actually really good, like super fast. So I will, I will give her a B plus. I'd say it's B on the ground and A or S in the air. I mean, yeah, well, like overall. Well, overall, you average it and give an A, I'd say. But the, it, the, I would like to say that there's a big distinction between the ground and the air. The, uh, with the float cancel, you can stop at any time. As I said, uh, I'll give an example. You saw me versus Sam Sir from someone I tried to do fair in the fair. I thought it would work, but um, since it didn't true combo, Sam Sword is able to double jump and then float out and then either punish me or regain a positional advantage back. She can use that to make it harder to juggle her or against people who overcommit and mix up her landing and also get out of combos. And from the ledge, she can do a big threat range with like back air, but then dash away and still cover things like roll mm -hmm. whilst keeping center stage. So she's pretty good at a lot of things that are really important, such as what I just named because of her quick double jump and, and the option to use float, which means she can give, get a punish or state a positional advantage back mm -hmm. if you overextend it all. Okay guys, in case you liked the video, hopefully you did. Just, just don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe, just give us some talks in the video. What do you think about Peach? What do you think about all the things we said? And what character would you like to see next? And like, don't forget it. if you don't sub, he's gonna go to your house, he's gonna be so disappointed and he's gonna be so mad you so make sure you subscribe